Imagine being a host of darkness and the darkness has had a lot of different avatars over the years. Well, that's basically Jackie's situation being the current one, even though there's been other ones over the centuries. It's a fundamental force of reality. He's one of those characters that changes with character progression or evolution. His armor changes in accordance with his evolution of this darkness. Biblical stuff, God divided the light from the darkness type stuff, like in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, earth was formless and empty, darkness was on the surface deep, God saw the light and saw that it was good, God divided the light from the darkness, thus has it ever been, the light divided from darkness, each forever at war with each other, unable to destroy the other. The darkness is one of those characters from Image Comics. Imagine being a guy that fused with darkness. On the darker side of comics, you got characters like the darkness. It kind of reminds me of the character from the dark side of series, Death. The guy's name is Jackie, and he likes sharp suits, fast cars, large caliber handguns, and eating an expensive restaurant. He likes driving beautiful women to restaurant, wearing sharp suits to impress the woman, to get them in the bed, and etc. His dad died before he was born. He got taken in by his uncle, Frankie. He says all this stuff was fine until a couple days ago when he turned 21 years old. He found out he is the latest inheritor of the darkness, which is an ancient power enabling him to do just about anything as long as it's violent and messy and screws people up. Respectable, right? So you got the darkness itself. You got a guy known as Jackie using the said darkness. He progressively gets better with it as time goes by. He seems to have some decent battle IQ, even without necessarily the darkness and stuff. Disarming this guy in this example, you can get more lore on the character right here in his bibliography. But right here, they even talk about more stuff about him, like how he's an expert in martial arts and various weapons. Weapons used, large caliber handguns. The power of darkness grants Jackie the ability to create virtually anything he wants, like I said already, as long as he has the knowledge of how it works. In the past, Jackie has used the power to create an armor, Cover his skin as well as razor sharp tendrils and monstrous creatures to do his bidding. The power of the darkness can only exist in the dark. Anything Jack creates with the power will vanish in the light of a day. Without him darknessing up, he's more than what meets the eye. With his darkness, he can make a multitude of different things like a knife, sword, large sword, arm, blades, creates his own guns, grenades, machine guns. Ha! If he has to, creates his own shield. Shields that can block from acid. Turn his hand into a hammer can actually grow wings or simply make wings makes a body copy of himself yeah can make chains yeah he can make a ton of dark minions and they can even function when jackie's unconscious they you know they're kind of independent like making portals to travel places quickly so what's the point of flying if he can just teleport where he needs to go jackie aka the newest host for the darkness and had gear that's totally unrelated to his darkness ability like a knife as hot as a star a knife made from energy and life force of an entire star system and when it comes to his armor an angel's tears fell on his armor changing it crystallized it a little piece of darkness transformed by an unprecedented act of holy mercy he's thrown off the pancake cars and mess up the street messed up this door with his punching power even predator type beings get preyed on by the darkness no head for you and strength i don't like the fact that you have a skeleton so let me simply just rip it out He's strong off the rip steel doors off its hinges, carry big BS, rips in the tank turrets and rips off the big giant gun off of it, lifting up chunks of the road itself, stupid doors get the heck out of my way, yes he has fought other darkness users, punches you so hard that you go flying out of building, and he says let me chuck a helicopter blade through a helicopter, just because he's buried by stone debris, get off me. You can get an idea of how solid his strikes are, by how the environment does every time he hit beings. Another darkness user gets rid of his heart, yikes. This proves that just because you're a darkness user doesn't mean you're on his tier like punching through your head at night. You guys know the classic dog pile technique they try to do to main characters, he just busts out of all these beings, try to gang up on them, get the heck off me. So you guys already know he's strong because of this darkness thing. To get the best understanding of his power, there was a time where the universe was being destroyed. Like, yeah, the entire universe. This is your plan for the new universe. They talk about, you know, letting you know the universe is just pretty much done for. Like a legit blank page, all you can see is the words fading. One could say since the darkness is an essential aspect of everything, one could say that could help him survive or that could be that he's just that powerful to be able to survive the end of everything. Not to mention the darkness created a new universe. We didn't save the universe. We created a new one. It's close, but it's not quite the same. The difference is this time I got everything I wanted. I got a family. All I had to do was destroy the world. To give you an idea of how strong the darkness is, you got to get how strong how the light is. Angelus is the avatar of light, both at war forever. They are ancient forces. They hate each other, but they understand each other's importance. They could unravel all existence of either of them was to Paris, letting you know their fundamental concepts of existence. 
I mean, look what these beings can do to planets. And, you know, they're around the same level of just raw power in general and can crumble beneath them. I mean, this stuff kind of does make sense. He's kind of like a fundamental force of reality and they do say he can do anything. They even talk about it here. In order to save the world, Jackie destroyed it and then rebuilds it. They mean universe like I already showed you, but yeah, bare bones minimally is a planet buster type character easily, right? It's even stated here that this universe is his creation, letting you know how powerful the darkness is, being able to create universes. This guy, it stated several times to change things to suit his needs everything's changed for the better because you changed it it's his world even his minions say seriously boss it's your world right everybody else is just living in it they say that the universe has been wiped away like a stain you respect him yet to get a better understanding of the darkness's power and full potential he has to face off against his opposite the light with standing energy blasts from these beings comparable to one another showing that they have plenty of battle feats to one another eternal rivals you can see he's consistently fighting the angelus just because darkness is what he specializes in doesn't mean like light is necessarily his straight up kryptonite he still has resistance and tolerance to it like for example all this light is on him he's not necessarily getting destroyed and occasions like this he forms his armor even though it's not necessarily the dark as it could be even a blaze forge of pure light he's still able to resist to some degree without instantly being messed up a rage as hot as the soul of a sun he carried in his hand so like just because you have light generation don't think you're one of those characters where it's just an instant win just because you got light manipulation other hosts that use the darkness prove they have resistance because other hosts have shown to be able to spawn darklings like little minion dark beings in places that's kind of lit up you know what i mean other hosts have done this on more than one occasion where the place is fairly decently lit up they still can make darklings and things of that such beings like dawn can just dispel the darklings though <laughs> so it does have limitations to this resistance it's natural that he has super strength darkness manipulation and can make darkling but his durability seems to match up thanks to all this darkness stuff an example would be how he withstood an explosion that vaporized his date even if you shoot a rocket or rpg to his chest he can withstand such impacts even a tank shell can hit him directly and he's okay afterwards swords and blades are a no-no why would you even try to shoot bullets at him it's almost sad that y'all seriously trying to use bullets on him like it matters even if you try to weaken him with light first still won't necessarily work the darkness just seems to affect his natural durability even without his armor it seems to have trouble piercing all the way through his hand an axe does not to mention he can just straight up block your attacks too. Like he'd be fighting these angel looking beings. Even when weakened by light, he can survive a lot of fire still. Could fight for hours, ridiculous stamina, or could it be days or years? Not only does he have extreme pain tolerance, but he can stay conscious after being like this. Ouch. Thanks to this unknown time frame, but he can heal thanks to the darkness after having his body split apart. Even when only his jaw is the only thing remaining of his body, guess what? The darkness can regenerate him from all of that. Daggers that can actually threaten his life to counteract that he grew a second heart so he wouldn't die from being stabbed in the heart with a light dagger. I mean, other hosts has been stabbed in the chest before in the past. It's not necessarily Jackie here in this occasion. It just shows that other hosts of the darkness can regenerate from crazy stuff like this. Strength, durability, and regeneration is all the stuff. And it gives them extra speed to where you can move faster than any vehicle. Dodge this tank shell. Can make symbiotic light tendrils to deflect all these bullets. Or just dodge a thrown sword. His darkness manipulation is very versatile to the point where he has molecular level control of a darkness construct that he creates. Here he made water with darkness. When you try to fight darkness against his darkness, he can turn the darkness into water. Yo, and make it into other things like to explode. Breath starting to remind me of Firestorm creating eardrums with the darkness. He created like this manifestation with the darkness to fight this stone golem to do what he had to do in form of attack no head for you the four horsemen have really hard time hurting him because it just disperses towards darklings when the horsemen touched him the darkness acted like an immune system created antibodies to absorb and destroy the poison now those diseased darklings are feeding on themselves to protect me from their effect can absorb mystical forces of evil inside of him did y'all know he can create extra limbs for himself technically or one could say tendrils to attack in a lot of different directions digging decent sized holes can use his tendrils to go underground and then horrifically drag you underground like you don't even know where you're gonna get attacked from because they could just tear from under you you don't have a skull they can pierce through a helicopter and make it explode or just make a whole bunch of tendrils to obliterate you don't get on his bad side because he'll go for your eyes too he'll tear you up from the inside he's fought beings like the angelus holding them back and etc even crushes a servant of the angelus other than restraining you like this he can make his tendrils like claws yeah like legit claws somebody explained the physics to this but he evidently created an electric whip from darkness 
can create darkness arm constructs. His darklings can spit and melt through stuff. He has very, very good regeneration. He can even control the darkness or shadows inside of a person. Everybody has the darkness inside of them. Fun non-canon crossover feat of him punching Superman and I see blood. Let me stop playing around. But all of that could be just me. Do you think he's an abstract being? I kind of think he is. He's kind of like the yin and yang to light and darkness. Fundamental concept of reality. One could say he's omnipresent when it comes to speed because darkness is literally everywhere, right? You got darkness on this side of the universe. You got darkness on this side. You got darkness here. You got darkness here. Dark darkness everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But that could be just me. But I also have to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot. Believe it or not.